I'm Isaac Elkins. Today is the 11th of February, 2024, and the password for this video is Hummingbird. <clears throat> a lot of people take being in the outdoors to be a very serious endeavor that requires a lot of experience. However, I would like to prove that it is possible for everyone to engage in the outdoors, at least at a minimal level, regardless of where they are located or what their physical abilities are. I would really like for every single person to understand how the outdoors is accessible for them and what their overall goals are. <clears throat> Our first step that we have are walking trails. They are accessible for all ages. They're easy to access. They give a little bit of light cardio, depending on what you would like to do on them. These actually exist at all parks, regardless of where you are located, whether you're, you know, in a very rural area or you are in the inner city, there is at least some sort of walking trail by you that will allow you to go under some trees, that will allow you to have a small nature experience, that will allow you to feel a little bit separated from the city as a whole for even a little bit. For those kind of trails, all you really need are a pair of tennis shoes. That's it. They can be from anywhere. They can be from Ross. They can be from Costco. They can cost you $80. They can cost you $15. All you need are a pair of tennis shoes to interact with these sorts of trails. After that, we get into our hiking trails. Hiking trails are excellent for cardio. There's a lot more incline and decline, and it allows for a little bit of time away from the hustle and bustle of the city. This is because there's more nature involved. That doesn't mean that they are less accessible for people. Although they do require a little more work if you are in the city, for example, there might be a small bus ride or there might be a little bit of a drive. Anywhere that you have access to even a small suburban area, there will be some hiking trails. For those, I recommend just a sturdier boot. These are a pair of you know, hiking shoes that I have. They are honestly just a regular pair of work boots that I found to be a little bit more flexible. You know, as you can see, they are very traditional work related, but they work great as hiking shoes if you are just looking for any, you know, intro or in intermediate trails in that way. And last but not least, we have climbing trails. These are not for the faint of heart. They are definitely a more quote unquote, authentic outdoor experience. A lot of people like getting into climbing trails because it really is transporting yourself through the land in a way that is more authentic to what early man was doing. It's about that connecting with roots. Climbing trails, they require some preparation. They require a much more serious pair of shoes even. These are my Merrells. They're a uh, rather pricey boot that I got for doing these kinds of work. As you can see, you know, they are very sturdy. They really make sure to cover all angles. There's a hardened toe in, in case you have any sort of tumble or fall so that you do not injure your foot in any sort of way because these trails come with a bit more risks. Now, unfortunately, I would say that a lot of areas do not have access to what is necessary to be undertaking these endeavors. However, if you are located in Phoenix, if you are located in Arizona, as I assume most are due to us all attending ASU, there are two good places. One, the Superstition Mountains in Scottsdale. It is still somewhat accessible being attached to Phoenix and they have a really good introductory climbing trail. It allows for you to be pushing yourself up on some rocks occasionally needing some gloves to, you know, pull something up, but there's nothing serious. There's nothing that you need a bunch of practice at or anything like that. The other is Picacho Peak down in Tucson. Picacho Peak is a very good, slightly harder climbing trail, just one step up from the Superstition Mountains. It is, however, a little bit of a drive away and requires a little more work. Those are the two that I would recommend starting off if you are within this state. And that is what I believe should be everyone's goal with getting out in nature. Everyone should have their own goal. Everyone should have their own 
way of experiencing the outdoors in whatever way they can. And I truly believe that the more people who are aware of that, the more people who understand what is out there, the better off we'll all be as a people mentally, physically, emotionally, because we have the time to separate ourselves from the hustle and bustle of city life, regardless of our experience level, regardless of where we are located. Thank you.